I don't think that the biggest challenges in healthcare have probably changed that much over the last 10 or 15 years. Pr pretty much it always starts with the, the same thing, which is cost, right? If you look anywhere across the healthcare system, you know, the trend in costs just continue to be really high. Um, I don't know if they're quite out of control, but we're moving to almost 20% of GDP um, being healthcare costs. So <clears throat> that's a huge challenge. And then all the different things that we see going on in the healthcare space are really all designed around how do you attack that particular issue uh, across the healthcare spectrum. Optum really thinks of itself as a data and analytics company at its core. And so when we think about data analytics and how do we use it, we use it in uh, just an enormous number of ways. And when people talk about big data and big data in healthcare, there may not be anybody out there who has bigger data um, than we do today in, in our system. So we have 150 million lives of claims data that extends over almost a 20 year period. <clears throat> and then we have almost another 80 million lives of clinical data that extends over a multi-year period as well. So we're putting all of that data together and then using it in a whole bunch of different ways to power the healthcare system. So we have um, a group that we call Optum Labs. Optum Labs is a collaborative that was started between Optum and Mayo Clinic. Um, AARP joined us and then we have about 50 other partners now. And everyone is somehow contributing their data to this huge data platform. And then we go out and we get these groups together, these consortiums from all different companies and we're doing research on the healthcare system using <clears throat> all this data. Um, there's one going on right now on heart failure. There's another one going on around Alzheimer's disease. And there's some going on around hip and knee replacements. There's some looking at drugs. Are they effective? And we're using all that and pu actually publishing the data um, from these re you know, the researchers who are looking at it to try to make the healthcare work better for everyone. The basics of a singular innovation to change healthcare uh, is probably not there. Right? What, it, what everyone wants, what a, I think a consumer wants actually, is an integrated experience. Healthcare is really complicated, right? Anybody who's had a, an issue uh, knows that. Anybody who's had a, you know, a loved one who's had an issue, you go into the hospital, you know, there's, there's you know, 20 different specialists that are all running in and out, and there's monitors, and there's all the stuff. And the more complicated your healthcare issue, the more gray the science is, even. And so I think what we, what we need to do is how do you tie the contact points together? How do you tie care management with a visit to the doctor, with the PBM, with you know, data analytics to power it, um, to drive change in healthcare? I, that's the innovation that I get really excited about that working on is that integrating activity uh, more than say a singular project that we're working on. Because we're integrating into billion, you know, an $80 billion set of assets um, together uh, to try to change healthcare. A lot of things that you see around wellness and to today, I think, uh, especially in an employer setting, they're culturally oriented. How do we create a culture of health? How do we make sure that when we walk into the cafeteria, the fruit is the first thing you see and the water is the first thing you see and that soda is not the cheapest thing in, in there, but, it, but the healthy food is and that you're hiding the candy bars in the back. You're encouraging people to take the stairs, not the elevator. You're you know, making it easier for people to quit smoking. Like The whole area of wellness is about how do you wrap a culture around wellness and how does that lead to maybe you're hard to prove health productivity, but you're able to prove work productivity more days in the office. There's a lot of challenges around that component of healthcare, I think, that are they're fascinating. Healthcare is a really wide field, right? You know, it's, it's one of the biggest pieces of the economy. So when you think about going into healthcare, um, I think that they should think about really trying to understand how all the pieces fit together. Because you can't make a big change in healthcare if you don't understand how providers and physicians relate to, uh, to payers and insurance companies. You can't understand how insurance companies um, relate to their members if you don't understand how employers or the government purchases healthcare. If you don't understand state or you know Medicaid programs or federal government programs for Medicare. You know how do you make a difference in in all of these things? And so I, I think the biggest thing is try to get some wide berth of understanding to understand how all the pieces fit together, because I don't think what the system needs at this moment is like a singular piece of optimization in one area. The system needs to begin to operate more like a system. So I think that's 
one big piece of advice is think broad and think large and, and try to learn about a lot of things. I, I think the other ad advice from my perspective is um, uh, don't get too anxious about, about you know, trying to get to the right spot at the right time. This is an ever-changing, ever-dynamic marketplace. I've worked, um, I graduated Fuqua you know, in 1996, so I'm coming up on a long time out, <laughs> right? You know, over 20 years out, and uh, I've been in healthcare now for like 10 or 15 years, and the amount of change that has happened in that period of time um, is enormous. So don't feel like you know you have to get in the perfect spot. I've moved from consulting to corporate and all amongst those different places, and um, you know I don't think you can find a perfect. You should try to find the perfect spot for you. You got to explore healthcare.